You're listening to the Daily Nugget, dnugget.com for March 26, 2024, Tijuana Tuesday. We're going worldwide with this. I'm Andy. Jen is here too. She's rocking. Hello. And judging. Judge Jen. I don't know what you're talking about. Producer Sam is here too. What is? And, and Janelle is here. And I feel like you're going to appreciate this one. Wow. You We're said going, that about so many, Andy. Well, this one, I'm I'm being more serious than usual. Okay. This sure. is a serious thing. Have you heard of, Sorry. first off, have you heard of bed rotting? You know what that is? No. Oh, bed no. rotting. It's where you sit in bed for a long time, like watching <laughs> TV. You. Oh, my word. Where you're, just, you're just lazy. It's like a lazy Saturday morning sort of thing, right? Okay. You just want to get out of bed, mm. so you don't. Oh, I've okay. done that a few times. I was picturing something way more gross. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, with with the, the propensity of where this podcast usually goes, yes, but no, it's just right. a it has okay. nothing to do with flatulence or pimple it's popping. It's a bed version. Bed. It's a bed version of a couch potato. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. So bed rotting has a silly Scottish cousin, mm-hmm. and believe it or not, Janelle, you probably already love to herkle durkle. <laughs> That does sound like something you would say. <laughs> it sounds a lot like something Janelle would say. <laughs> hey, I have some quirky sayings, but I've never said Herkle Durkle. Well, that is so. your next bestseller. Uh, yes, maybe, Janelle I says. Know. I feel like at I some am point. The wordsmith. I feel at you some say point. nervous purvis. Why wouldn't you say that? <laughs> well, that's a good one. I like that one. I haven't heard that in so long. Nervous purpose? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a good old reliable say. <laughs> Where did you come up with nervous purvis? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. From my massive brain. That's where I thought it. <laughs> I remember Joe Ash, uh, Andy's son, used to say that, and it would just make me laugh every time I heard him say it. Well, <laughs> apparently, apparently there was a basketball player named Purvis Ellison. <laughs> <laughs> that's where I think that's where it came from because he was called never nervous Purvis for his oh, clutch see? play in college, leading Louisville to a national championship. Okay, it's legit, my friends. So, it is legit. So you heard at some point in the eighties, Janelle, you heard never nervous Purvis, and then you just changed it to nervous Purvis. No, I came up with it all on my own. He probably copied me. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> The, the dude, the dude's whose who actual name was Purvis. Right. Where did you? Yeah. Where did you get Purvis from? Other than it rhymes with nervous. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. But but but, but it's think very about scientific. What, I want to tell you. Let's keep in mind this is a family friendly show. <laughs> yeah. Think <laughs> about the connotation of the word Purvis if it wasn't somebody's last name. Okay. Okay. How All did right. you get? Okay. From here to here. Ew, don't Here's do that. Nervous. Stop. Ew, Here's gross. Nervous. No, I don't like that. Andy, you, you know this about me. We're, we've been friends more than just a day. I just, it just comes out. I don't know. I just, it just, there's just, it's just a lot up in there and I can't help it. And there's, there's no stopping this J train. When it gets going, you just got to roll with it. There's no stopping the J train. That is the <laughs> title of this episode. <laughs> I want to get back to the Herkle Jerkle, whatever you call it. Jerky, jerky, jerky. Okay. Yeah, what does that mean? Okay. All right. To Herkle Jerkle <laughs> is to lie in bed or lounge about when one should be up and about. <laughs> So, so procrastinating. And you may be oh, wondering, yeah. what's the difference between bed rotting and herkle durkling? Well, I was wondering. I, I know I am. Bed rotting implies an indefinite state of sloth at any time of day, while herkle durkling is exclusive to the morning hours. I see. comes up with this so, stuff. If you, <laughs> if you herkle There's... durkle into all right, past lunchtime, right. you are officially bed rotting. Well, it's it's one of those things, you know, when you hear those uh, nervous those... purvising. <laughs> it's it's like those mess in commercials when they say, you know, if if it, you know, if your herkle durkling lasts longer than four hours, consult a physician. <laughs> it's that sort of thing, you know. If it's too long, mm-hmm. now now herkling 
is defined as to draw the body together. That's a Scottish okay. term. Oh, okay. And what is dirkling? So, Wait, what does that even mean? Well, okay, like so you're rolled up is, in a ball. <laughs> so yeah. Kira Kasarin, who I'm guessing is Scottish, because she's the one that started that explained this trend on on TikTok. She says, "I do be herkling, and I do be dirkling, and once I've herkled by last dirkle in a given morning, I will get up." Thank you for not using an accent. I appreciated that <laughs> so much. <laughs> It would have made more sense. Scottish in an accent. accent. I don't it know probably would have been a mix of his Australian accent. I guess Bill Cosby. I think what yeah. what what is here? There's, there's haggis. Okay, there we go. Haggis. We got the haggis. I do be herculing, and I do be. Well, I guess it's Shrek. I can do Shrek. Donkey. I do be herculing, and I do be dirkling. And once I've herculed by last Durkel in a given morning, I will get up. Yep, but I'm a big Cosby. fan. Has anyone uh, ever talked to bring it up in an accent? <laughs> of a Hercule Durkle? I had Durkle? to bring it up. I was thanking him. I was trying to positive reinforce, don't do that. The and best yeah, way to do that is to not mention it. <laughs> yeah, never say another word about his accent. <laughs> well, it's Just, crazy because the Hercule Durkle is apparently a 200-year-old Scottish term. It's been around for 200 years. So they've been doing it. So they've been doing it. So the Scottish, are they known to be lazy? I don't know. I just know. I that just don't know how you get there. I mean, who who does that? Well, okay. So it's good for your health, though, to sleep in on the weekends, apparently. Mm -hmm. okay, Two extra well, hours of sleep I on the weekend reduce the chances of a heart attack or stroke by 63%, especially for really? people who get less than six hours of sleep during the week, like me. Okay. Whose fault is that? Well, <laughs> someone's got to get up and make my wife's coffee and feed the dumb cat <laughs> and get my daughter a bottle, a, a, a cup of milk in their sippy cup. All these things happen at about 5 30 a.m. And I've decided Sounds terrible. that there's no point in getting going back to bed. It just doesn't oh, work. There's no the point in going back to bed. No, you're not rested. You just said, I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh, I got to get up soon anyway. I'll just get up. Whatever. I mean, I feel like yeah. much of this could have been resolved by not having a child seven years after the last one. <laughs> or a cat. Or well, a wife. Well, that's your opinion. All three things. <laughs> All three things. <laughs> if I were a hermit. Self in here. If I were a hermit living in a cave, herkle durkling every day, yes, I would not have these problems. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. Yeah, and then bed rotting is... What is bed rotting? Well, how in comparison to the Herculean Jan Are you paying attention, Janelle? We've gone no, through I, this. I tuned out a lot. You said the word <laughs> sloth, and I was out. I mean, that's it. <laughs> we literally went over when Herkel Durkling turns into bed rotting. Like there was an entire section of. It's this only podcast. for the morning time, Janelle. If you're if it's okay. past twelve, you're officially bed rotting. And Andy I, has a short fuse today, so we got to pay attention in class. Oh she whiz. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm straight now. I'm straight. Jen, if you're not going to homeschool Humidity. Janelle, then I guess I have to. Hey, quit rolling your eyes. I'm working on it. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to take control of the class. I don't need your help. Okay. <laughs> Homeschooled. <laughs> oh, boy. Right, and that's the nugget. We're just herkled durkling at this point. <laughs> And I can't explain it again one more time to Janelle. Janelle is like the today she is the uh, podcast version of Herkel Durkling. She's just sitting in bed. <laughs> she's not getting out. She's Wasting not listening. She refuses really to interact don't like with society. It when you label people, especially me, Andy. I don't. I don't like to be labeled. Um, don't put me in a box. I don't feel like it. this is, comes from your vegan lifestyle. <laughs> Is anyone feeling nervous, Parvis? <laughs> such a hater. That's the nugget. Hater. I was supporting you. <laughs> nugget hate mail at gmail.com. If you have a phrase that you've said or someone you know says and you think that doesn't seem right. That would be most of our episodes. <laughs> it's true. <laughs>